Hi guys. Um, so today we're at the plot, and in um, uh, our last episode, uh, we oh, I just sort of made an offhanded comment about the things that were going on here and and the issues that I was having. Um, don't get me wrong. I think it was taken the wrong way, and it wasn't meant that way. And it was just me sort of veering off some sort of steam, if you like. But um, we had a few issues over that sort of period. Now, um, for those of you who have taps along your allotments, you need never ever worry about this, okay? Um, and you probably would never understand what's happened. But um, we totally ran out of water at the worst time of the year, okay? Three weeks of really hot weather and we had no water here at all in fact as you'll see now i was draining the duck pond in order just to feed just to sort of water the poly tunnel um so i was able to keep the tomatoes and things just ticking over in there um i got let down a few times by um by people and it's not their fault it's mine for not having the uh forethought of what was going to happen this year um however in the water i don't know it just seems that we've had um wet weather but i've had to use a lot of water and it doesn't help up here that the ground is mainly clay and because it's mainly clay water tends to sort of run off it rather than uh, being absorbed by it so what i did um was uh a couple about a week ago i went and bought myself a trailer and um and i'll show you that in a second and what what else i'd done was bought two more ibc's so now we can hold ten thousand liters on the plot at any one time instead of the eight thousand and we've also got two thousand in the duck pond that we could use in emergency like we just did um there have been casualties um as you can see my spuds uh, my main crop spuds have keeled over and pretty much died um, and I'm not holding any hope for those at all so um, there have been casualties and it just goes to show um, we've done a four year trial on those and there'll be a little bit more on that but um, if you haven't got a tap available to you or haven't got something in place to make sure you can get a constant supply of water then buckets just aren't the way to go all right guys stick them in the ground where they'll be a bit more protected because the deeper the the you know the the more moisture in the ground will help rather than the buckets that dry out okay uh, and the same goes for bags so it, that was the end of our four year sort of um trial with those and uh here buckets haven't worked now that's not to say that they won't work here again Earlier on in the year, we had some awesome potatoes um, of our first early as a Charlotte, um, and there are still six or eight buckets going up there. So we'll uh, we will uh, water those and and see how they go. But um, what we need to do now today, um, I've got an IBC full on the, the uh, trailer, and we need to now finish sorting out the ponds. So we need to drain all our green water out, and we're going to use that to feed the pumpkins and courgettes and uh, and then we need to give that a bit of a swill out and start refilling the pond over the next two days um, all the IBCs on the plot is now full okay and we also have an extra one which I will take you around now in a moment okay guys so as you can see I now have a, a trailer um, on the back of the car and this is a plant trailer I bought it um, to make sure this can never happen to me again. Now I was considering buying a water bowser, a thousand litre water bowser, but decided totally against that um, for the reason that a water bowser is great because I can get water up here and it'll get a thousand litres at a time. Um, but the issue I had with that was it was a one, a one job sort of pony. Whereas this trailer can be used for all sorts of things. It can be used for when I'm dealing with the computer side of my business. Um, it can be used for uh, bringing up manures and moving you know, stuff around and things. So um, it's a tailgate drop. Um, I'm able to put in some mesh sides into it here. So uh, it's great. Now it'll hold a ton and a half at a time. And it's a good thing because the um, the IBC when it's full holds a 
thousand liters which work or equates to one ton of water now as you can see I've got it strapped down with uh, heavy duty um, straps and that's coming up over here just to make sure and then we're strapping it from the front as well to here just to stop it going backwards but on our second trip uh, we had a strap with four of these little orange straps two from the back and two from the front and uh, it worked fine for the first trip uh, but on the second trip we um, quickly found a bit of a flaw in that and what that was we had to strap the, we had to strap the IBC over the wheels because of the weight if it was at the front of the trailer excuse me I'm just being attacked by a bee if it was at the front of a trailer um, what would happen um, is that all the weight would push the car's suspension down and it ground out the um, the jockey wheel there so yeah so what was happening was the tank's weight uh, was grinding the jockey wheel into the ground because the suspension of the car couldn't hold it but with it back on the actual wheels there's not that issue okay um, but what had happened was we put we tied it off the way where it was and um, we had a little issue with someone running out in front of the car and we had to put the anchors on and it snapped the two orange ones at the back and the tank slid forward right to the front and ground out that wheel so to prevent that happening we've now put a pallet in front to stop that sliding and we've got this big huge heavy duty strap on and um, we've done 10 trips and it's not moved so it's, it's all good um, so, so that's basically what I do. Now we use our pump now just to pump it out of here. Um, as you can see, uh, I've got some IBCs. I'll come around here as long as I'm not being eaten alive. Um, I've got another IBC now on the back of this shed here. So that's all good. Okay. And the two along there are full. The two down there are full. The one right at the back up there is full. The two down on the bottom there are full. We've got IBCs all over the place. So our job now for today. You know, is to come into the duck pen and uh, There we go. Come into the duck pen, empty this pond like we did in the winter, and uh, chuck all that horrible, slimy green stuff that's bubbling away there because the sun has been on it now and there's hardly any water left in there. Give it a good clean out. We're actually going to feed and water the pumpkins and courgettes which are down here with it and this is what we were we're going to do this year um, I would have liked to get a lot more manure in there um, each plant has got manure underneath it but that's about it this pumpkin is doing quite well so we'll set some fruit on it now and see how we go um, but uh, yeah it's all good it's all happening um, we just need to get getting this pond clean and the reason for that um, is that in here I haven't been able to cut these down but you may be able to see I've got two ducks in there and they are sat on a load of eggs so there we are right I might be able to show you the eggs now actually they are sat on an absolute ton of eggs so I'm going to see whether or not they hatch them out they've been in there now for I think a couple of weeks and um, in an earlier video you, you heard me about saying about a second duck had gone well I found her further down the plot someone had let her out because these ducks can't fly they're too heavy so someone had let her out of here by picking her up and throwing her over 
um, but I found her further down the plot and uh, she was hiding down in some stingy nettles down there so it's all good we've we've only lost the one um, but now like I said today let's get this horrible green crap out of here get this pond up and running nicely so that um, that these guys got a nice little um, clean pond for the little ducklings when they do hatch to come on and again that'll be part of the next poultry update um, so that's really all it is to say now uh, for, for this episode guys to be honest with you we you know we had massive issues as far as water goes um, but now it'll never happen to us again we haven't got to rely on someone else and again it wasn't their fault it was ours okay for not having the foresight to to think right okay we need to sort this out so again I've invested quite heavily in a new ABC or two new ABCs actually and a new trailer wasn't cheap but it's going to make sure I never ever run out of water we have with this pond 12,000 litres can I be see full here now for the chickens uh, which we need to sort out today as well um, and that pond has got 2,000 litres like I said I've been using that water just to water the poly tunnel it, it's been that bad but now we're right we've got plenty of water and um, you know when things are you know can, can start growing again um, obviously with all this going on we have lost um, the battle with the weeds so I need to have a few days up here but today is get that pond sorted because I'm back in work tonight I was working yesterday and I brought this back with me and uh, I'm back in work tonight and I want to be able to um, get another one up here in the morning so that I can finish filling that pond because it's going to take two of them but once that's done we are laughing fully stocked again with water and we can get on with growing again and, and everything else right so now the uh, the pond is full up and uh, the ducks have got a nice clean area to swim in again um, we had a bit of mud left in the bottom I did put a load around all of that there and, and the water and things like that but the rest of it's gone there we'll try and scoop it up at a later stage but uh, the pond's looking a bit milky because it's been stirred up but it's ready to go all I need to do now is fill that IBC back up there tomorrow and, uh, and then we're done so guys um, that's it for this episode I hope you have a great day I hope you've uh, enjoyed the last few episodes um, the next episode you're going to see is um, one with a swarm of bees I've collected okay and they are quite aggressive um, and uh, we'll have a chat about that when I put the video up I've already videoed it um, but it'll probably be a few days after this one anyway guys have a great day I will see you in the next episode bye